the Kfar El Dat settlement is hosting members of the Israeli parliament and other local officials who have come here to mark the end of the freeze. They're calling on their prime minister to allow constructions to resume everywhere with no exceptions. Naftali Bennett, who represents settlers' interests, is proud to announce that life can return to normal. There's no uh, legal need for a declaration. There was a order that's expired, and once it's expired, we can begin building. We're getting back to normalcy. Uh, Jews in the land of Israel should be permitted to build houses as much as they want, and that's what we're going to do. Most of the 50 families of Kfar El Dad live in trailers while they wait to build their houses. And here's the third one. So one, two, three plots of land that are meant to be built on. Leif Weissman founded this settlement in 2005, and according to him, the freeze was useless. Benjamin Netanyahu's government made a moratorium for 10 months as a building freeze in order to give the Arabs a chance to uh, show their willing willingness to uh, make a peace accord, which they have failed to do. While the freeze is coming to an end and constructions like these are able to resume, Palestinian, Israeli and U.S. negotiators are still rushing to find a last-minute solution to prevent the fragile peace talks from stalling over the settlement issue. But both camps know that this will cost them tremendous political sacrifices, which they may not be willing to make.